they're trying to um, solve a problem by making a problem by eliminating teams from national leagues. They're forgetting about the trickle down effect, I would call it. Those players who come into County Ponds in November, they're getting um, information from the GPA, they're getting um, accent strength and conditioning, they're getting nutritional advice. Okay, all things that county players are entitled to and receive, and rightly so, because they are giving up their time, putting in huge effort. That then trickles down to the clubs. I know the standard of hurling, and Dahi and Ollie will back me up on this, the standard of hurling in the Maher, the record and the ring competitions, it has exploded. The score lines, you're a good man for stats, John. I reckon if you average out the score lines in the three competitions in 2023 till 2003, they would be up at least 10 points a game, if not more. You know, so all that um, uh, additional supports that the players are getting at county level trickles down to their clubs, produces better club players, and now they're looking to take maybe four or five months of that development away. So to me, it's it's really jumbled off thinking. Okay, They've got to think outside the box. They need to expand the number of G uh, GDOs in urban centres, link in the schools, and grow the game that way. But it's a, it's a patient game. You're talking five, ten years before you see success. Yeah. Are they willing to are they willing to to do that? Are they willing to trust that process?